We move along to our second fight of the night as Lucas Nelson starts heading towards the cage. Nelson fighting out of next level MMA and comes in with a record of one and one. So big fight for him as he looks to improve on his young amateur career as we take a look at the tail of the tape. Next up, his opponent, Benigno Barrera. Adorned in a zarape, Benigno Barrera makes his way to the Chosen Few cage tonight. We have seen Barrera fight here before. We've seen him have success, and we've seen him fail once. A 2 and one record so far on his young amateur career. One thing that we know about Barrera, he's been in tough fights early on so far out of those three fights, and he has performed very well. A testament to his training from the chosen few, Jeff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our second bout of the evening is a catchweight 150-pound contest scheduled for three rounds. Introducing first this man fighting out of the blue corner. He stands in at 5 foot 8 inches tall. He weighed in at 148.8 pounds. He represents next level mixed martial arts from Westfield, Wisconsin. He has an amateur record, one victory, one defeat. That sole victory comes by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the electric one, Luke Nelson. His opponent, this man, fighting out of the red <laughs> corner. He stands in at five foot seven inches tall. He weighed in 149 and one half pounds in three amateur bouts. He has two victories. One of those victories also comes by way of knockout. He hails from right here in Madison, Wisconsin, and represents the chosen few, Benigno Barrera. All right, Barrera versus Luke Nelson. Nelson did something you rarely see. He hit the, the cage post before the fight. That was kind of his warm up or to, to get himself in the mood kind of a thing. I'm worried you'd break your hand if you do something like that. Uh, he must have a lot of faith in his hand wrap job. So <laughs> we'll see, everyone has their own way to get after him. Absolutely, up. well he definitely throws hard and he hit Barrera with a right hand to start the fight and then a right leg slips down in the middle of the ring. Barrera unable to take advantage. Now, as we get going here tonight, I know you mentioned, Chris, this is a catch weight fight. For people that don't know what that means, what does catch weight mean? So MMA has specific weight classes. They start at 125 pounds for men and go up from there. If you fight in between a weight class, you can do what's called a catch weight bout. You and your opponent agree on a specific weight and then you have to come in either at that weight or under that weight. Same rules as actually fighting in a specific weight class. So these guys agreed on 150 pounds, which is right in between the lightweight, which is 55, or featherweight, which is 45. Wow, Barrera it turns around towards us. You see the blood that is coming from his nose. It appears already as it seems for sure from what we've seen so far from Luke Nelson. The kid can strike both with his right hand and at right foot. He's not super crisp with his striking, but what he is is heavy-handed. So when he does land, you obviously see that there is damage done. Uh, he's real wide in his stance, Gerald, which I don't love because Benigno can come right down the center like he did with that last right. But I don't know what you think about that. Uh, right now, it just looks like Nelson's way more comfortable initiating the striking exchange. And sometimes at the amateur level, it just takes being more comfortable and being more willing to step in there and throw to get the advantage. And here we see Nelson doing that, initiating most of the exchanges, uh, starting and finishing them and landing more strikes. Tell me this, Gerald. For a young fighter like Benigmo, uh, Benigno, we've seen him now a few times and he hasn't really been damaged. Oh. Gets damaged here though and now Nelson trying to finish him off and that is going to do it. Wow. Just as you said that, Chris, Barrera goes down and you talked about Nelson being heavy handed 
He was indeed as he landed some thunderous blows in this bout. Well, and it was a kick that ended that fight. Now the swarm after is what brought Al Wickers in there to stop it, but that kick did a ton of damage. Benigno bent over. You could tell it was it from that point on, but what I was going to bring up with Gerald was the blood. We haven't seen him damaged with that blood on your face as an Ami. That can really mess with your mind when somebody hurts you that bad, especially when you haven't had the experience of really being injured in a fight just yet. Yeah, he got hurt early. It definitely did not play to his favor. Dr. Rodriguez checking him out right now after what was a very bloody fight and a loss for Benigno Barrera. We will go ahead and get the official word from Chris Garrity when we return to the Chosen Few Fighting Championships number 12 here on 57 Sports. Back out at the Monona Terrace Convention Center as we saw another first round stoppage. This time it is Lucas Nelson who gets the TKO as he stops Barrera with a flurry of blows and he, he seemed to cut Barrera early on, Gerald. Yeah, I think he might have broken his nose or at least popped him in the nose hard enough to get that blood flowing. And he did a really nice job mixing up, uh, going to the head and the body. We saw that body kick, I think might have hit the liver of what ultimately folded up Barrera. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of this bout comes at one minute, 53 seconds of round number one for your winner by TKO, the electric one, Lucas Nelson. Electric indeed as Nelson electrified the faithful who made the trip to see him here tonight at the Monona Terrace. <laughs> 